So it's still a fun feeling, still excited, or is that sort of morphed into that business tone? Um, a little of both. I mean, obviously still excited, but the reality is we've already moved on to the next game. I think we did that night. Um, I watched Maryland on the way home on the plane. So <laughs> that's kind of how, how you have to operate as a coach. But, uh, and, and I haven't seen the team since we got back. They'll, we'll be practicing here in a sec. So, um, you know, <laughs> that should tell you kind of where we've been and what we've been doing. Do you know what kind of pace you want to play given that obviously they lead the country in scoring? Uh, yeah, they, they probably uh, lead the country in points per possession as well. So we've got to somehow slow the game up. We have to control the tempo, whether that's with, uh, um, you know, very patient offense, you know, or, or, you know, whatever we have to do defensively to, to kind of slow it up. But if we can somehow eliminate several possessions from the game, that gives us a, a better chance. Uh, I don't think we can just go toe to toe with them. Yeah. Uh, basket for basket. If we, if we want to play that game, we're in trouble because they're the best in the country at it. So. Um, you know, we'll see. We're still work, a work in progress in terms of the game plan, but uh, I think we're going to be ready once uh, once they tip it off. Their post leads the nation in field goal percentage, yeah. and you've got two in the top whatever. Is that kind of a fun matchup, the way these players score the ball? It is, and, and Jones is a phenomenal player. I mean, a 70% clip. I mean, I, I joke with our team sometimes. We have players that can't make 70% of their layups in the layup line before the game. So it's uh, it, she's a formidable. You can't guard her with just one player. Um, she's just too big, strong, skilled, uh, great hands. So, you know, that's going to take a team effort to, to stop her. Uh, we're all going to have to be on point. You know, that's just the reality. We, there's nobody that they'll have on the floor that you can play off. You have to guard them all. And uh, which is unlike this last weekend when we could kind of game plan to not to, to make this player beat us and, and not that player. So we've definitely got our work cut out for us, no, no doubt. Are they better than your average three seed? <laughs> they are better than your average three seed. Uh, yeah, they're, they're very good. I mean, they are just top to bottom. Uh, they're playing with a little chip on their shoulder as well, which is going to help. Um, Coach Freeze has championship pedigree, having won um, you know, within the last decade. Uh, their, their upperclassmen have been to two Final Fours, so they have you know, Final Four pedigree. They really just don't have any weaknesses. They're strong inside, they're strong outside, they're strong on the bench. You know, it's it's uh, it's going to be a challenge. We'll be up to it. I, I'm confident of that. But uh, but we definitely have to work it out. As young as this team is, you get one landmark in making the NCAA tournament out of the way for them. But uncharted territory, being the first Sweet 16 for the program, do you let them soak up the moment a little bit, or do you just try and keep them as focused as possible, given the the youth, I suppose? Well, I think they should do both. I mean, this is a game. This is fun. This is a great experience for everybody that, that goes. Uh, we talked about it the last several weeks of the season, how, how amazing this journey is once you get to the NCAA tournament. Um, but I think, uh, you know, once we start practice today, the attention is all on Maryland, and, and it, it is going to be all business. So we, we don't change things. You know, we don't watch more film because it's the NCAA. We don't practice harder because of that. You know, we're going to do the same thing, and uh, I think they all they realize what's at stake. So, and what's at stake is is more history, and I think that's great. And maybe the youth actually helps us because they're not jaded by anything in the past. This is all they know. They've never lost an NCAA tournament game, so what, why not? You know, why not? Does that include the travel? Like they're young, they can just deal with it, or is that a concern? They can probably deal with it better than old guys like me. Uh, by far the most traveled team in the NCAA tournament, not even close. But I always feel like if you make that an issue as a coach, it becomes an issue for them. They don't know. They're 18 to 21-year-olds. They're in great shape. They just got done with finals. So this trip will probably seem uh, easier than the last one. And the last one was easy because it was their first time. It was something new. So I, I don't think that's going to be an issue, quite frankly. Out of all the big wins you've had as a coach, where did beating Duke at Duke to make the Sweet 16 rank? Uh, it was pretty special. It was pretty special. I, I wasn't as euphoric as the night before uh, because of the way that ended. Because um, quite frankly, we, we had the game in hand pretty much the whole, the whole time, the last three quarters. Um, but when, you know, as a coach, you move on as soon as it's done. You can't, you can't enjoy them. That's just the nature of the business. If you do, uh, the, that's when you get in trouble. 
So it's after the season when you have a chance to, to watch the film and, and realize what we just did. That's when you have a chance to appreciate it a little more.